Welcome to a cut above tarot, Aquarius. 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 Ooh, Aquarius. Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius. Aquarius. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and other placements. Thank you for coming back to Cut Above Tarot. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're viewing and cruising, I appreciate that too. All views are appreciated. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Hello, returning subscriber, Aquarius. I have it in your place. I have it in your chart. Okay, we're doing a, a video. We're doing a reading on who or what should you be toasting to by the end of the year. Now, this could be the end of your year or your, end of your year could be next year or whenever you see this video. But who or what should you be toasting to? Okay, in other words, the things that you are that you have overcame, the things that you're successful about, okay, the things that you became enlightened to, all right, who or what should you be toasting to by the end of the year. All right, I already shuffled the cards, but I'll do it again. Just one more. And I'm going to now cut these decks, cut these bad babies. And let's find out, Aquarius, who or what should you be toasting to by the end of the year? Ooh, the card at the bottom is, uh, oh, it's the fish in it. Okay. Okay, you got the uh, you got the page of cups, which is the navel cups in this one, and we're using we're using a deck called the erotic fantasy. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this in this chalice. All right, it said nurturing a dream. Ooh, so says you're nurturing a dream is a contemplating before departure listen to a new desire with peace of mind make plans and build new pathways so aquarius you could be nurturing a new dream a new desire something else that you want to do in your life you decide you're going to let something go and pick up something new or and or you could be contemplating uh before you make your departure in other words you're trying to make sure you got everything solid and taken care of and all your eyes dotted and your t's crossed before you uh actually go across that bridge to this new place okay it could be a place could be a job could be a home uh you might be moving out of apartment into a home Okay, you might be moving from one job to another job. Uh, you might be moving from one city to another state. Or something like that. Okay. All right. It says, uh, listen to new desires with peace of mind. So it could be that you, uh, you found yourself in a nice setting. Uh, and you're just uh, uh, allowing your mind to just uh, flow, wonder on this new venture, this new idea, what it is that you want to do, how you want to do it. You see yourself doing it. You, you looking at your paycheck coming in, you checking out your bank account, how much money you got uh, flowing in. Oh, you are, you're, you're imagining, uh, the beauty, you know, the livelihood, uh, the playfulness, the excitement, the laughter, the happiness, the comfort, the peace, all of that that's what you're doing okay it says make plans and build new pathways so that's what you're doing pretty much okay all right and all of that came from this this knave which is uh the page of pent page of cups okay Ooh, baby all right who or what should aquarius Toast to by the end of the year. Who or what should Aquarius be toasting to by the end of the year? Okay. You got the hangman and you got the four cups. Okay. It said, now we know the four cups. Well, you, if, and I just did a reading and the four cups means self-care. Taking care of yourself. Okay. You know, spending more time on you. All right. And you got the hangman. Okay, so now you're starting to have a new perspective about, 
you know, it's about time for me to start doing some things for myself the way I want to do it. Okay, now I'm not saying that you ain't been doing it, but it's time for you to take a little more deeper care towards yourself, okay? You might have been putting off going out of town or something and want to take a trip. Who knows? Might be want to go to Disney for all I know. You might be thinking about taking a trip to the casino, you know? You may have been thinking about buying yourself a, a new uh, a recliner chair that vibrates, okay? However, you've been putting you on a back burner, okay? You've been helping everybody else. So now, you, you, you're looking at things a whole different way now. Uh-huh. You got to go on a whole new perception about things. So you know what? It's time for me to take care of myself. Yeah, let me put me first now. And that's what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to read this four chalice for you. The four says, Make time for yourself. The peace and quiet of a secret hideaway. Okay, that might be you going to get you a hotel room. Mm -hmm. Oh, your day is off. You don't, can't nobody call you or find you. You can turn off your phone and you ain't at home. <clears throat> okay, it says self-understanding leads to greater satisfaction. Question yourself calmly and consciously. Take care of yourself. Take care of you. One thing I've learned, but I had to learn this if, and I have to continually tell myself this as I was younger because, you know, you forget things uh, as you get older, especially if you're busy. I had to tell myself that uh, uh, there's nobody that's going to take care of you better than you take care of yourself. Nobody will love you more than you can love yourself, okay? Uh, therefore, you should not depend on nobody else to do for you or treat you any better than you can treat yourself. If you put that in your mind, in the forefront of your mind, all should go well with you. And that's what I used to have to tell myself when I was 19, 21, 23, 27. Mm -hmm. All right, so look like uh, Aquarius. <clears throat> it looks like you're going to be toasting yourself, okay, because you're taking time out for yourself. Okay, you getting ready to do some things for yourself. Look at that, baby. You got the world. Ooh, baby. Whoo! This deck says you got the wheel of fortune. Things are going. You about to be reciprocated to like a mofo. Mm -hmm. You you <coughs> you done put out a lot, <coughs> and and a lot about to come back to you. Look like a uh, yeah. That's that wheel. That's that wheel right there. Mm -hmm. It's a wheel of fortune, okay? Uh, you get a six and they're going to get a nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was funny. I had to go there. All right. <laughs> but that, that's, that's the butterfly effect. You got the butterfly effect right here. Okay, so there's some changes coming about. Got some action, some passion coming in. Okay, you got some peace and some calmness, okay? Yeah, you got some emotions and stuff coming in. That wheel of fortune, yeah, like I say, the wheel of fortune is moving in your favor. Y'all got me a little choked up over here. Mm -hmm. Remember, we using erotic fantasy, right? So uh, what you saw was uh, some reciprocation going on. Okay, what you put out is starting to come back to you now, Aquarius. That's what you got coming, all right? So... Uh, I, I drunk all the orange juice, okay, y'all. I didn't put no more in my cup. And my lips look like I got orange juice around it. Okay, I hope not. So I'm just going to say, uh, here's the toast to Aquarius. Because Aquarius is now putting Aquarius first. And uh, now people are going to come back and they're going to be wanting to do for you. <laughs> Ooh, now people going to have to come. They're going to be putting up, baby. Yeah, you about to get some reciprocation. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's all I got to say about it. Okay. We'll talk about this some more. You know we're going to talk about it some more. All right, Aquarius. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, yeah, Aquarius, you about to get reciprocation. Whew. Yeah. Here we go. 
Sending you a kiss. Put it where you want to, baby. <laughs> I'm going to put that song in y'all description, okay? All right, I'm going to put that one in there. I hope it makes your day a little brighter. Sending you a kiss. <laughs> put it where you want to, baby. Y'all take care.